Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online tuitions and help in assignment and freelance based project on MATLAB, Python, LabVIEW and embedded system. So if you have any such requirements or if you want to learn something, uh, then you can contact us at uh, jcbrolabs at gmail.com okay. so in this video we will talk about how to generate amplitude shift keying for a random binary sequence in python so in our previous video we learned how to generate a random binary sequence because that is the basic portion or that is used as the message signal and now in this case in this video we will extend the portion for generating the amplitude shift king so prior to writing the code let's go through some of the basic concepts uh, of the amplitude shift king for those students who are new to it like ASK what is ASK so ASK is uh, when we talk about a binary sequence so binary sequence could be 1 0 1 0 0 then 1 0 and so on so it could be 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 so these are the symbols or digital numbers which we want to transmit over our channel but as we know uh, we cannot transmit this digital signals directly to the analog one because otherwise they create a saturation of antenna and several other problems so what we do we uh, transmit some analog frequency over the channel so here comes the use of this ASK so in ASK we have some carrier sing signal or some carrier signal means high frequency uh, sine or cos wave okay and then we uh, what we do exactly we switch like when one is there so there will be frequency will be transmitted and when zero occur no transmission frequency. and then one occur there will be some frequency will be transmitted and when zero occurs no transmission similar to 1 and 0 so it represents 1 it represents 0 1 this 0 0 and 1 0 so this is how this ASK scheme is implemented so this is ASK and this is the binary random sequence now when we talk about the simulation so as we discussed simulation means everything is a, a digital in nature and we require a sample so we need to define sample frequency and further again in order to generate these numbers we need to define like how many samples are represented for one and how many uh, or that means how many samples are required to represent a one bit right so this could be known as the bit duration right uh, let's say uh, and this bit duration decides like what is the how many bits we can transmit over channel within a one second or number of seconds so this bit duration and then the sampling frequency will decide how many number of samples will be available in one bit let's say bit duration is 0 0.1 second and if we say sampling frequency is of 1000 hertz right that means in one second there will be thousand samples so for one second duration so uh, samples in one bit or one bit representation of one will be near about hundred samples right so four hundred samples value amplitude should be one and four hundred sample amplitude should be zero so in that case we can say okay this one uh, bit is represented by 0 0.1 and this one bit is represented by 0 0.1 second 800 100 samples so that means similarly when we are multiplying this sinusoid wave or this sinusoidal wave this is the carrier wave right so this carrier wave frequency should also follow the same so it will also have 100 samples so these two things has to be same that means number of sample in one bit and number of samples sinusoidal wave so that is why the sampling frequency plays a critical role so number of things which will be required to generate it uh, what one is sampling frequency another is the carrier frequency then another is the bit duration we can say 
uh, a duration of the bit then all the things can be populated further from this information so i hope you now understand the basic concept of simulation and why we are insisting on sampling frequency and number of samples in one bit now we will move to the python and uh, we will try to uh, generate the code for this modulation scheme so it comes under the uh, modu uh, digital modulation scheme okay now uh, for python we are using anaconda distribution and within anaconda we are using a spider and this anaconda is using uh, the python 3.7 or the latest version of the python so uh, some of the code or some of the commands may not run on 2.7 version because there is some little bit difference in it so be sure for that now we have created in our last video we uh, we talked about how to generate a random binary sequence so that we don't waste time by doing the same again we generated a uh, function which will take symbol and symbol length as an input and it will return the bin random binary uh, signal so we will call that uh, function or module in our current project so first of all let's save it this file so let's save uh, we can make it test underscore ask okay ask generation now let's import several libraries like matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then import numpy as np and import math or from <coughs> math import pi and we need to import this function as well as well also so import gen import generate binary as gb okay so as usual we will first close all the plots so plt dot close and so that all open plots should be closed so now first of all we will decide uh crucial information like um, carrier information we can say so carrier information include like let's say this is sampling frequency and let's say we are having the sampling frequency of 1000 uh, or 1 kilohertz and we can say sampling frequency because if you are not uh, uh, specifying the sampling frequency for digital simulation then you are not doing a simulation properly and then next is carrier frequency let's say this is the carrier frequency carrier frequency is the sinusoidal wave which we talked about and then time of duration like simulation time we can say for one second simulation uh, it is in seconds and then we will generate a time axis so that is simple np dot arrange then it will be 0 comma t at a difference of 1 by fs so it will generate a time axis time axis means like the sampling intervals or the instant at which we are generating the samples now we will generate a carrier wave Okay, so carry wave is simple uh, np dot sine 2 into pi into fc into t so a carry wave is generated now we'll generate a binary sequence random binary signal so let's say we decide our um, bit duration or td as let's say 0.1 second so I will say bit duration right uh, bit duration is this and then we need to divide like number of samples in in one bit right so samples will be 
uh, bit duration into fs and because it will be a floating point number so we need to make it uh, integer value then uh, we need to do a number of symbols we want to generate so sym you can say it samples in one bit and number of symbols so number of symbols means for entire duration how many symbols we want to accommodate so it will be simply uh, total time length divided by number of samples in one bit so it will be simple np dot size of t and divided by number of samples okay and because it could be a fractional number in many cases so what we'll do we'll make it np dot flow of np dot size so let's try to run this much of code first and have a look yeah let's run it again okay samples we have and symbols we have floating numbers so it has to be converted to integer as well okay now we will generate a signal uh, and we will generate it is gb generate binary dot uh, function name is binary gb dot binary and it takes symbols and number of samples as a two argument so a symbol length in that case let's save it and let's plot it Okay, it is uh, no so we will first plot subplot so 2 comma 1 comma 1 will generate uh, plt dot plot t comma signal and then we'll make x label as time and then y label as amplitude and let's okay it is should be plt dot x label and then plt dot title as random binary signal All right and make plt dot grid on so let's see yeah so random binary signal is generated so this is um, 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 okay. now we will generate ASK so generating ASK simple we simply have to multiply these two signals binary signal and uh, the X uh, uh, that means uh, carrier wave carrier wave multiply with the binary signal and then we'll simply plt dot we will make a plot of it 2 comma 1 comma 2 and again plt dot plot t comma ask and then we can make the same plot plt dot x label of time and then plt dot y label as amplitude amplitude and similarly plt dot title it will be amplitude shift king and then again plt dot grid further as we have seen in our previous videos when we make a subplot so they try to overlap each other so we will make plot dot tight layout so let's okay module pipe plot has no attribute subplot and spelling is a uh, spelling mystery well let's run it again yep so amplitude shift king has generated and let's see yeah for one there is a sine wave for zero there is no analog frequency then one there is for zero bit no so this is how we can generate our amplitude shift king so we can also plot to represent better we can also make uh, like this 
we can plot this plt dot plot t comma signal yeah so because it is a random generation so sometimes you got one 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 zero one 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 zero okay let's do it again yeah it would be better if more random yeah okay so i hope you understand it and i hope you understand now how to generate uh, this random binary sequence in python so if you have any doubt or any suggestion you can comment below this video so that's it for this video thank you